I'm going to bring a CPA extraordinaire, Dan Geltrude. You know, Dan, um, I, I, so there, uh, there are eight major changes, I know. Before we get to the changes, let me just ask you about this new move, what the tax is going out right now, and, and what we're looking at, uh, you know, just, just your thoughts on just how expensive it is to even run the IRS. Well, the IRS is a huge part of the federal government. I mean, it's the lifeblood, Charles, bringing in all the revenue. So it's there's a big hulking, you know, department and and it, it just keeps ballooning and ballooning as far as regulations right. go, although they're not putting the resources into it that they need to. So let's go over the new resource, the new uh, things they're going to put into it, because it's going to get bigger. Now, there are eight major things out there that Biden would like to change. Uh, I want you to help me handicap them all, or at least most of the more intriguing ones. I'm going to start with this new rule that will bar owners of privately held companies from using more than 500000 in business losses to offset other types of income, like from a spouse or from investment earnings. Uh, it feels to me this is something that's aimed at successful small businesses, and I think it could, be, could have a negative impact. It will have a negative impact. Look, the Biden administration is not small business friendly. Let's be clear about that. We see how the extended unemployment uh, benefits are killing small businesses. This is more regulation on top of that, which is going to hurt. Unfortunately, this started actually with the jobs uh, or the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. The Democrats want to make it something permanent. This is not a good idea. Right. Do I think it'll go through? Actually, I do, Charles. Okay. One more real quick for me. It's kind of personal. It's the uh, sort of the estate tax. Listen, I, my, my mother built on her grandmother. Her grandmother built on her and so-and-so. And I'm the first person in my family who really, you know, had a good chance to make good money. So they want to stop heirs from re uh, resetting inheritance costs, right? Essentially, it's a thing called stepped up. You get this inheritance, you sell it, and you buy it back, and you have a new cost basis. Uh, it's also known as a way of a, 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 a loophole toward the angel of death, if you will. They want to get rid of that and make it so that whatever your parents or grandparents pay for the asset, that will be your tax basis if you inherit this. I mean, imagine the hit that people are going to take. I mean, that just seems nuts. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on it, Dan? Oh, well, I, I think it's crazy, Charles. However, this is the government saying we want taxes more quickly so that we're going to look at triggering capital gains because you don't get that step up. And then, of course, Charles, we're going to increase the capital gains tax on top of that. So we're going to try to do everything that we possibly can to wow. hurt people on investments in which you've already paid taxes on the first go round. So this is another yeah. layer of tax. It's a bad thing. Do I think it'll go through? I think it might, Charles. Not good news, but I think it will. Yeah, well, you know, you're a straight shooter. That's why we asked you to come on. Hey, Dan, I wish we had more time. We'll talk again real soon. Thanks a lot.